What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, what I want to take a look at here is just a couple of key things that you're going to need to make a scheme, uh, a defensive scheme in Madden NFL 18. And a defensive scheme is really a, a simply put, it's about having a system that you can take to multiple different formations and apply the principle you learn from one. So in Madden, let me just go through, I just want to, I use this every year, but I want to show you this real quick uh, visually. So if you go through the 4-3, you'll see that we have cover 3 sky, weak slant 3, and you just kind of look at the plays. You have cover 2 coverages, cover 3, you have cover 1, cover 4, cover 2, the corner blitz, cover 9, all these different coverages. Now if I went to the nickel formation, uh, you'll see I have Tampa 2, I have Buck Slant Show 3, which is very similar. If you look at it, Buck Slant so Show 3 is pretty much, if you flip Weak Slant 3, it's pretty much the same exact defense, okay? And the same can be said for the dime. The Overload 3 Show 2 is very similar to the Weak Slant 3. And the reason I wanted to say that, to show you this, is to show you that with defense, it's a little bit different than offense because the, and offense too, to an extent, but especially with defense, you... You really don't, the key is not to find a specific play. The key is to find a specific formation. So every single year there's one formation that's better than another. And, and this is, we're in Madden 17 while, while we're uh, waiting for Madden 18 to come out here. But uh, for, for Madden 17, it was the nickel normal. Uh, with the nickel normal, you could get some pretty good pressure from the nickel blitz too, uh, and just from the formation. So I want to show you, uh, but what, what I want to show you here today is when you're looking for a scheme, you want to find an effective formation. So here's here's kind of how you would do it. So here's how I would do it if I was in the dime set. So you just want to come out in, in really any play, but I, I recommend doing like a cover two or a Tampa two or cover four, something like that where, you know, it's, it's going to be a standard blitz angle. The, that's the one variable that does change somewhat is the blitz angles change and vary depending on the formation, depending on the play. But you, that's why you want to use standard blitz angles because you want to see what can work from every coverage, okay? Um, so here, what we're going to do is we're just going to try to blitz this guy off the right edge. And we're just going to kind of watch and see what happens. Um, and as you see, the pressure kind of comes in off that right side. But it's not completely clean, uh, at least not as clean as I would like. So what we're going to try to do then uh, to alleviate that is uh, we're going to send the same blitz. But now we're going to put um, the contain rush on try to get a wider blitz angle. We'll just see what happens. And this is kind of what you want to do. As you see there, the blitz didn't even come in and all. But the, the, the big principle I want you to take away is uh, experiment with different formations until you find one formation that does exactly what you want it to do. Okay? Experiment with different formations until you find one formation that does exactly what you want it to do. Okay? And here's really, in essence, what you want. Okay, this is this is kind of the core of what you're looking for. You're looking for a blitz off of the right side and a blitz off of the left side um, that you can send. And ideally, you can send that blitz with under three people blitzing. Okay, so that so what you want to look for, we'll show you here real quick again if I can find the curl flats play. So for nickel normal, that's the formation this year, at least in my opinion. If you come out, and it really doesn't matter. You also want to make sure that you can do it from any play. So we'll just do it from cover three bugs. So with the nickel, the setup that I've found was you base line, you press, you shift the linebackers to the left, and then you pinch the defensive line. Okay, so once you do all that, this is kind of the, the formation look you have. And basically, you're going to crash the line out, and then I'll show you. You'll blitz this guy here, you'll spy here, and you'll zone this guy. Now, the, the rules aren't the important part, the principle is. So then you bring this guy down, hold him in here, and you'll see uh, we're able to get that left side pressure. Uh, if I hold that guy a little longer with the middle linebacker, that was gonna, that's going to come in off that left side. Uh, and then, obviously, as we all know, uh, the, the pressure here from Skandrick, you can actually get sending one person, or not one person, two people. So here's the setup. Okay, and I talked about this in another video. But then you're just going to go, and as you can see, he's going to scream in off that right side. Now, here's here's the bigger principle, the bigger point, the bigger takeaway. Uh, you want to experiment with different formations until you get to something like that, something where you can send pressure off both edges and uh, with, with every coverage. So I could do this from cover two man. I could do this from cover two, from cover three, from cover – it doesn't matter what play it is. Uh, it's universal. That's, that's what you want to kind of get to. And then once you get to that point, 
Once you find that formation, then the key becomes play calling. Okay, because if I call the right coverage at the right time, it's going to be very difficult for me to get beat. So one of the coverages I really like to run is this kind of cover to invert, um, you know, this kind of cover to invert look. Um, so if you look at this here, we'll put him up the seam on that side. So that means my job is the right side. And I'll just come over here, take that seam. And this is a pretty locked down coverage for most of what people are doing this season. The, the reason that I'm saying that is, again, you want to experiment with different formations. So say the next season, they, they, they probably will. The nickel normal probably will not work as well next season. Normally, however, the nickel normal is always a good formation. Um, but just, you know, they, they normally try to patch things and change things. Like I know they're going to nerf the, bun, the gun bunch now. So you're going to have to maybe go away from that, even though I'm a very big fan of it. I probably will still be able to stay in it. But so then anyways, what you would do when the game comes out is you just kind of go into practice mode and you just experiment. So four, three under pick cover three. And then now you're looking and trying to see, okay, well, can I blitz the linebacker off the right side? Uh, you know, does that, does that give me pressure? And you just kind of go down this, this different look of messing with all the different adjustments. And you can find those adjustments uh, in several different videos on YouTube uh, or in your game manual. But, but basically what you want to do is, uh, you, you know, you want to spread the linebackers, try that. You, you know, just kind of try random things, um, try random blitz angles, different things until something sticks. But then once something sticks, what it allows you to do, it's kind of like looking for a puzzle. Once it fits into the puzzle piece, then you can apply that to every puzzle piece, you know. So that's kind of the idea with this is you're solving one piece of the puzzle, and that is to try to figure out what blitz angles work in Madden 18. Now, I don't know what that is yet, but what I am telling you guys is the critical thing when you're trying to make a defensive scheme is to experiment until you get to what most people will call the meta, but what I would simply say is the effective uh, things that you can do in the game. Uh, so, And then that's going to set the, the template for every formation that you go to. Okay, So that's just a little bit of advice on how I would create a scheme in Madden Defense. Please let me know. Uh, what your questions are as we approach the launch. I believe Madden 18 comes out in August, uh, late August, so I'm excited for that. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you 